Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton at markrushtongallery.com. It is uh, Saturday, April 8, 2023, and I'm going to be prepping some paintings, this week's paintings, for the uh, for the catalog and uh, for the gallery. So this is kind of a routine thing that I do, usually every Saturday, sometimes Sunday. So I, how many paintings have I got going into the catalog? Gotta get, uh, i got to photograph them. How many this week? So we got one here that needs to be prepped. And then I've got two and three and four, five paintings. Wow. Wow. I'm in order here. All right. So get this prepped here. This is my book painting. This is a damaged book, a book that was going to be thrown away, turned into worm food. I use my ink and paint, and I get this sort of abstract landscape motif on here. Look, nice for a splash of color somewhere in the room. You know, what are you going to do? Let's see if this oh, came off very, very nicely. Wonderful. All right, get this out of the way. And so what I do with these... is I mount them to a an 8 by 10 inch cardstock or 10 by 8 inch I guess and which are we going to use here there you go do that I think that looks pretty good that's about it's fairly straight then what I do is adhere it here to the uh, card stock using Tyvek tape. Great. All right. Wonderful. That uh, I think that looks good. Take a look. Get the little ISBN there seeping through. Kind of like that. All right. Let's get going with these here. So what I'm going to do here is put each one into a. Um, frame here that has a uh, mat in it already and take take some photos and then I'm going to title the piece live here on the camera we'll just do that for all five in the meantime I'm going to talk about last night's little pop-up art show at Mainframe Studios 900 Keo downtown Des Moines as part of first Fridays I was invited to uh, hang up some paintings in Jennifer Lee's studio Jennifer Lee Studios.net. And um, she's a clay artist. I, I don't know if I'd call her a pot. I call her a clay artist. Functional and artistic works. Some you can put in the dishwasher, others you don't put in the dishwasher. <laughs> Anyway, let's get going this here. Had a good time last night, hanging out, being nervous, people coming in, looking at your art. Did a couple of live streams, and, you know, uh, I think next time I'm going to record them and then uh, release them later, because the quality was not that good. Of course, that building is a lot of concrete in that building. So I understand if the uh, the quality of the live stream was not perfect. So this is nice. This is a little more more words than. Uh... All right. 
So now I got to photograph it, and I'm not going to photograph it with the webcam. I'm going to photograph it with my uh, my phone here. <sighs> so what I like to do is put that up there a little bit. I like to get one of it in the frame. I like to get a little bit more. Within the uh, the matting, and then I like to do a detail here. There, it's not any more difficult than that. And instead of using the language on here, you know, I'm going to call it. What am I going to call it? I'm going to call it pink fog. That's what I'm going to call it. There we go. And we're off. Next. Now photograph this. Yeah, I gotta do it like this. All right. Well, I'm going to have to call it tree models of similarity and association. Why not? That's what I have to call it. Tree models of similarity and association. Big, long title. By Mark Rushton. Ten by eight. Scratch that out. Take another look at that. Looking nice. Next. I'm gonna have to go over the top. So yeah, what I'd like to be able to do is uh, more pop-up art shows in the community here, live things, you know, kind of a, kind of a, as an add-on to some sort of event that's going on. Just you know, me in the corner showing off the paintings. That's that's you know, there's worse things I could be doing. So it's just, you know, seeing just everything that it takes to put into uh, getting a show together, just even a small show together. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Where am 
I going to call this? We can barely read that series. <laughs> Let's call it Pink Vapor. Pink Vapor. United States spelling. All right. Nice. Body of work. So I think I had about nine framed paintings there, framed and matted paintings, and then there were about uh, 15 or 20 in the show kits. You know, those are unframed works. Get another one here. Sorry for the angle. That's the way it goes. Okay. I'm going to call this one Off the Lake. Off the Lake. Let's go one more. One more. Man, I'm kind of, kind of tired today. Went for a big walk. Set the lunch down to the river, big sandbar down there, or just you know, not even a sandbar. It's, I mean, you can walk right out to it, it's not like it's an island or anything. It's kind of, there really wasn't that much garbage, it's probably all underneath. But we found, I did find like an aluminum just the top of an aluminum can that used to have a pull tab. So that's got to be, what, 40 years old or something like that, at least. And then Anne found a weird bone. We just left those out there. A lot of people out walking their dogs, or their dogs were walking them. Maybe I should go down there and paint sometime. Well, that's, that's a bit of work. Hello. Stop being blurry. What the hell's the matter with you? Let's try this. Sometimes this works. Did bring it back? Yeah, I brought it back. I don't like it when this thing does not have a very good mind of its own. <laughs> what am I going to call this one? iPad? I don't think I'm going to call it iPad. Call this one USA booklet. That's interesting. I like that one. This is got that right up there in the sunset. 
It's just, I don't know. What do I know? I like that sort of thing. Anyway, that only took 15 minutes. Thanks for hanging out with me. Mark Rushton of markrushtongallery.com. Now I got to go put these in my Airtable database and, uh, oh, and then get all the pictures downloaded and cropped and everything like that. Throw all that in my Airtable database and then get that into the gallery where I'm currently having a 25% off sale on book paintings just like this and magnetic art and tote bags. That'll be until... Uh, Sunday night, 11.59 p.m., April 9th. So today is Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. So it's a two-day sale, 25% off. Uh, just come check out the different paintings on there. Join the mailing list. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Talk to you later.